Hey all, welcome back to Operation Exploration. Uh, this one is episode 15, I believe. Um, last episode was episode 14, and we were building the. Let's get over here so I can talk without a bit of noise in the background. Um, episode 14 was building the satellite um, that we we're going to pop directly above the base, somewhere up there. Um, I know the last video was a wee bit. Um, there's a lot of stutter in it. That was because uh, I have to put it through a thing called handbrake and um, when you record videos on Twitch the frame rate of the video is not consistent so it could be like 60 frames and I can drop to 55 and what happens is the audio goes out of sync with the video which is really really annoying and um, I noticed that in what episode was it I noticed that happening oh yeah the showcase the, the base showcase um, what happened was, I was halfway through editing the video, and I noticed that like the bit where I was like placing blocks in the tunnel, the sound was a wee bit behind, and I thought, hmm, that's a bit weird. So I went to the end of the video, and <laughs> the audio was like something like five or six seconds behind the video, and it was really, really bad. Um, so I looked up online. Apparently, it's a known issue, um, and there's no way around it unless you change a load of video settings but that means the quality goes down and like the quality on these videos isn't the best like even my picture that you see at the minute and um, when you stretch it it's it doesn't keep its um like resolution it's like really pixelated when you try to blow it up um but yeah it's um it was very very stuttery like i noticed it when i was in the editor Sometimes like the editor can be a bit stuttery, so I didn't really pass any remarks. It's because when you keep um the, when you have a timeline, and especially when the videos are around like two hours long, every time you click the timeline and move the bar, it it does no go away, but it like gets a bit of stutter. Um, so I didn't really notice it. And when you play the videos back in the editor, it does stutter because it plays a bit, and then it tries to play the next bit, but because it hasn't sort of buffered properly, it. Um, it starts to stutter and it's worse whenever you speed up videos and when I speed up um, clips they're usually sped up by um, 10 times so um, yeah there's a lot of buffering needed in that um, so I wasn't really happy with that quality um, I'm actually very tempted to take that episode down if I do you probably won't notice although it will probably have updated in the title um, but there was quite a lot of editing in that video and um, it was a two hour stream that was cut down to about 49 50 minutes there was a lot of editing there was a lot of chopping and there was a lot of speeding up so um if i'm gonna upload it again it'll probably just the raw video um and it'll be like the two hour long one uh and i might just put in you know like what do you call them cards on youtube where you can go to like different stages and click and um, for the most important bits um but it was the build video so if i probably was doing it again i'd probably just concentrate on the build only and not and else but Anywho, uh, that's a different discussion for another day. Um, so we're back in the base here and we want to do mission control. Um, so we have a satellite ready to go up, except we don't have platinum. So um, I know this episode was supposed to be for mission control or doing like a mission control room. But I'm thinking perhaps it would be best going on the hunt for platinum. And that way when we have platinum, we have uh, the thrusters, iron thrusters ready to build, because they can't be built without that. And I don't think we have enough platinum. I don't even think there's that. I think there was barely enough to make the tools we have, so I doubt there'd be enough for thrusters. And let me see, there was four, eight, twelve thrusters used in the satellite, so and yeah, it's going to be quite a bit. So... Well, we can't really build a satellite with this here. That has to get moved down anyway, so I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet and go ahead and... Um, yeah, move all this down. So if we're going to move it down anywhere, it's going to be in one of these rooms. Now, the rooms have to be carved out um, because... Actually, I don't know why I did that. I really don't know why I welded up this place without cutting all them rooms out with a drill. I don't know why did I do that. 
Um, I think what I might do is I might get the wee tiny ship. Just how much of this was built? Uh, quite a bit. I'll try to see if we can get the tiny ship and fit it in through here because this isn't we this hasn't been welded up yet. And quickly do that. So in the stream it's gonna be really um long, but in the video that you're watching now at the minute it's gonna be cut for YouTube. Um so what I'll do is I'll get the tiny drill and go and do them rooms really quickly. So let's see if I can go and get it. Oh where is it actually? Did I destroy it? It's not down here, is it? This has all been molded, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it has. It just needs um what do you call it? Metal grids and Yeah, it just needs metal grids. And I don't have uh, any of them at the minute. I need to change the music on the um on the elevator because it's actually copyright. Um although the music that I put on my videos is music that I've made. So um it will not um trigger any copyright warnings or strikes. I've already got one on my other channel. Um it was purely accidental. It was um I used to play the 5M for Grand Theft Auto and one of the servers I play on is a Tycoon one. Anybody that's played the 5M would be more than likely familiar with that server. It's very very popular. It's always got like 200-300 players on it at any time. Um, so yeah what happened was I had I was playing that game I recorded some footage and I put it up on YouTube and I'd forgotten that halfway through the video I'd accidentally switched the radio on and then I had switched it off and what happened was because of the few seconds and the song was playing, I think it was on non-stop pop station so all them, any song I suppose on them channels would be um, copyright so yeah I got a copyright strike for that. I'm thinking I could put a set of drills on this. Right, here's my idea. I'm just thinking sort of aloud now. Um, I don't I hope this doesn't have any metal grids in it. If it does, I'm gonna be really upset. It does, okay. I was hoping it wasn't because what I was gonna do was I'm gonna set the builders off. All them builders off. And then what I was gonna do is gonna put a set of grinders on the front of the ship. Grind this whole room out. Take the grinders off and put on drills. So that like um you've got the front of the ship here and you got a load of drills sticking out and that way we can just drive in a road away at all this here and come back out and then reattach the builders and let it build again but at least if we collect the material for it it'll go into this um cargo yeah i think that'd be the best action yeah so we need to get some grinders going on this let's do that Let's pull this back. So let's one, two, three. Let's double check. Yeah, six. Pull back. Oh, there's an hour left, but that's okay. Right. Um. Uh, let me think. Okay, I've got an idea. So we leave the front the way it is because it's got that um connector on, and I don't want to remove that. So I'm thinking if we put a cockpit here on top, then we connect the grinders to those um, conveyor ports, although they're going to have to come out a bit because I don't want to clip the engines on that. And that way it's feeding into the conveyor system. It's at the right height. Yeah, that is the base, so it is at the right height. Uh, and that's all, that's just how low we need to get. We don't need to go any lower than this floor here. Although I'll just, do you know what, I'll just, um, yeah, I'll do that.
Okay, six, one, two, three. And I think we should build the little. Oh, that was a small grid, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a small grid. So we need a um, projector for that. Make sure that they're on. And I knew it would do that because I knew there wasn't that many in. Alright, let's go down and excavate. charge it. Oops. Whoa, whoops. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Where are we? Oh, we stopped some over there. <gasps> Actually, do you know what? We need to be very careful coming out the top of that. I don't want to come out too far. I don't have that exposed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How am I going to charge that up? Can you get a small grid hydrogen engines? Oh, you can. But how am I going to get hydrogen down? I have to have ice and make another one. But this time, charge it. Because that one can be scrapped. Uh, where do I need to go to make that? Oh, yeah, over here. Let's set that up again. But let's um, turn off the pillars.
Right. I think what we should do is we'll use this as an opportunity to go and hunt for some platinum on the asteroid. So it means we're going to go into space for the first time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stock up on hydrogen tanks. And then what we'll do is we'll go searching. Let's see. There we go. Excellent. Now, uh, let's try go straight up. What's going on with your leg? So we're going up to 50 kilometers and then I'm going to send GPS point. Let's take it down to 50. So that is going to be where our... This is going to be... Satellite location, and we'll put this purple or pink. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. So if we look, if we line the two of them together. That's looking straight down at the base. The base is right there. There it is. Now, uh, where is the nearest? <laughs> where is the nearest asteroid? Let's try this set here first. Oh, there's something on this. See if it's nickel. Damn it, nickel. Get away with you. Got my hopes up there. Although I think platinum is like a silverish colour. Right, we're dangerously low on energy, so let's go back and top up. Go to that one, I'm gonna go to this one. Although there is a spot I see underneath that. What is this? Ice? No. What's that? <gasps> Found it! Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, we found it. We found platinum. Nice. Let's mark it. Uh, very good. Plat.
Very good. What does that look like? Yes, platinum. Right. Which one did we come from? Alright, so we came from that direction. We have heard of the sense. That sounds stop to like element of image. There has to be some more on this. That can't be the only spot. Has to be more. Has to be more. Is it? That wasn't a sneaky spot. I think that's pure luck that I found it on that. Yeah, there's a tiny wee spot here as well. I think that's pure luck that I actually found it like that. Because sometimes I just go around and quick do a quick look and don't really find it. Yeah, there's a wee tiny spot. Where was that other one I said it looked like it had a spot on it? So we came from... We came from that one. I think it was this one here. Yeah, let's go out to... Or was it that? It was this one. That one had the spot on it. Let's go to this one here. See there's like a spot on it here? Let's see. What is that spot? Yeah, that looks like platinum. That's silver. Yeah, it's a whole silver asteroid. Okay. Uh, let's get that ship built that I was talking about, the one with the, that can mine that stuff. It's a hydrogen ship, but it would, it'll mine that. Happy enough with that. We've got platinum. Took a while. But th the last time I found platinum was uh, in the last world I had, and it was actually pure, pure luck that I came across. It was one of the first asteroids I checked, and I had platinum on it pure luck we just happened to be going to the moon and I said oh there's an asteroid let's check it on the way back checked on the way back platinum that was a load of it there was a huge spot of it massive I don't think I'll ever get that lucky again definitely not yeah and we can build that ship I was talking about off this one here. So what's that projector got? Projector tree. Alright, let's turn all the builders off. Builders. Let's set this up. Oh, it is. It is loaded up with the one I wanted. I don't want them stupid missiles on them because they don't work. Yeah, they don't work properly. What is it? That one was called. I'll see it now in a second. Arnold. <laughs> Bomber. Bomber 2. I think it was actually Bomber 2. Not Bomber. Bomber 2. Projector 3. Blueprints. Bomber 2. Yeah. This is more like it. I thought this have a gun on the front. We can replace that with the drills. Although, where is the docking point? I think it was in the back. Yeah, that's it. I'll be able to dock you know, with it like that there, pointed it's up in the air. Uh, which actually probably makes sense to turn that around and dock it with this. 
Let's do that. Let me connect that onto that. Fill it up with hydrogen. Replace that there with a drill and blast off to platinum 61 kilometers away. Looking good. Okay, let's get that. And builders. Now I'm going to be a wee bit cheeky here and actually um, take all the hydrogen out of that and fill up this one here, start pile it, because we need it more than it does right now to go and get that. We need uranium. I've only ever come across uranium once. The whole time I've played this game, and I've played this game for many years, 20, 2016, 2017 was when I first played it. And I've only ever come across it once. I think that's it. Let me just quickly check the status of that projector. Projector 3. What are we missing? Oh, it's complete. Good. Let's connect this here up. Now, we don't want to use the, the uh, engine yet, so let's turn them off. There's three uh, controls. Oh, what are we missing? Displays, let's get that done before it uses it all up. Might rob it from something else. Oh, it's done. Alright, let's turn that off. So there's uh, three, four, and five. There we are. Let's set this to stockpile. Where is it? Let's fill an app stockpile. And stock. I think that's that'll do us for now. Um, we just need to replace this. Let me see. Off. And then we'll replace this on up here with um, drills. Right, it's good, it's connected, so we can disconnect this. Uh, turn the engines on, on dark, and fly straight up. Let's stock up again. G, explore, stockpile on and off, seven. Just so that we're full up to the max. Seven. Three, four, and five. Six. Right, looking good. Let's turn towards uh, platinum. There it is. And let's glide. Quick wee machine, so it is. Well, I can't remember which ones are the forward ones. That's it. If that's enough for me to get in there and squeeze. I think it is. Let's take it slow anyway. There we are. Let's 
Very good. Now we're lifting stuff. What the hell's that flying behind me? I've just seen shadow or something. Oh, here, go away. How many of them? What's out there? There's something else out there. <gasps> right, we need to get out. Uh, I'm not risking anymore. Benton on the way out? No. Full blast. Uh, let's glide down at the speed here. We don't need to be going fast. I didn't even see them. I just seen the shadow move and I was like, that's not our shadow. And next thing you looked up and it seemed there's red. God, we would have been fried if that had been a gunship of any sort. What about fried? Must be in the signal. I'm gonna count ourselves lucky on that one. Yeah. Very lucky. That wasn't a gunship. Would have been splattered. There is a gun on this, but it hasn't got any ammo on it. Would have been useless. Very, very lucky. <sighs> Six and train four. Recharge. F. Nice. Let's uh, refinery. Make sure it's doing platinum. Yes. Okay. We are good looking good on that. Um. Although this episode was hoping to get the operations room built, we have spent an hour and a half trying to get the room sorted. Uh, but at least now we have platinum, which is good. That's one thing ticked off our list. Uh, and I think this here is fully charged, so we can take that off. Just make sure that it's on. Recharge is off. And yeah, let's disconnect. There we are. Uh, there's plenty of lettuce juice left now. So we'll take it down and we'll start. Where do we actually want the control operations, like control room, to be? Do we want it to be on the bottom level or the top level? Well, the bottom level is for guns. Yeah, I tell you what, operations room top floor, industrial middle floor, and bottom floor can be like the um, where the, the guns come out of the side of the... So that's it for today's episode, um, I know this one was supposed to be making the mission control room but I felt like getting the base finished is the main priority and for that reason this episode is going to be cut short because the next part it'll be digging the rest of the tunnels out and welding the rest of the base up. The idea is to, let me see if I can pan down, so the three layers to the base uh, bottom layer is where it separates out to the different points where the big um, extra battery guns are going to be. The middle part is going to be the industry, which is this section here, where you're going to have things like your builders, your welders, your refinery, and your uh, hydrogen tanks and hydrogen engines. The top layer is going to be the missions control section. Um, I haven't planned on having that many rooms, but I'm going to have one main room where all the missions are going to be taking place in it 
and so I suspect the mission control room won't be until another few episodes yet but the next episode will be a montage of uh, drilling the base out and welding up so if you're not interested in that sort of thing you can skip on to the next episode and hopefully by then I will have the base completely welded up and uh, we'll be starting to move the resources down to the middle floor and then once that's done and uh, we can then uh, go ahead with the mission control but pretty much once the base is built we can then go on with the uh, the missions that we set out such as going to the moon going to various planets and um, taking care of some of the things on our, our little objective list and um, so it's actually starting to um, sort of come together I wasn't thinking I didn't think now that I would um, get most of this completed so early like I thought it'd be like episode 30 before we even started uh, talking about um, getting them in base up but in the next few episodes we will get that satellite that was in episode 14 put up and once that gets put up we can then go ahead with the moon mission and that would be kind of interesting but before we can go to the moon I would like to get that um, mobile kind of base which was like a port cabin that I talked about which is one where we take it up on a ship drop it off and then we take ourselves up but I don't know whether to do that before putting the rover up or or what if we put the rover on it hmm that's food for top what if we put the rover on the Wii mobile base that'd be kind of cool yeah bit of curiosity um, that would be kind of cool so what we do is we like land the Wii base off and then drive this Wii rover off it or from inside it or like a Wii drop door or something um, or the film Wally, if you imagine the wee um, like kind of base that he had, where there's like a drop door on it. But if you take something like that, drop it off on the moon, and then take this wee rover out of it, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that's an idea for us. But that's all in the upcoming video. Um, shout out to Mighty Asa that um, had some suggestions that was put in on episode 14 of the satellite. Um, so that's the reason why I've changed the background and um, it looks a lot more better and you're not seeing my uh, spare room or office in the background and um, the other thing as well is which was a very very good suggestion two good suggestions um, was um, illustrations so if I'm describing very complex ideas illustrations and um, that will come up on the screen would be very very helpful or even animations um, I'll get around to doing that and the other suggestion as well was whenever doing uh, like quick builds or like doing like sped up montages is to use like a second um, account or space engineers account on a different PC that would look in third person view um, for anybody who's familiar with um, Splitsy's videos he does that where he uses a second account and um, it records him in like spectator mode something like that behind it and I do have a second sp space engineer's account to do that so that's good uh, but yeah that's all coming out soon so that's it for today's episode um, the montage is going to be the next one and if, if you don't want to watch that that's perfectly fine and uh, you can skip on to the next one you won't be missing much all it will be with just this base getting drilled out and um, welded um, if you're interested in that sort of thing you're more than welcome to watch it and if you have any suggestions at all uh, on how to improve the series or any ideas for that matter um, on things that we can do just stick a comment down and I will try to respond back as soon as I can and um, so that's it anyway and um, I'll see you all in the next video